Okay, here I am showing how I used one eighth inch aluminum angle. I bought four eight foot lengths of one eighth inch aluminum angle from Home Depot. They were thirty seven fifty a piece, so the total came out to over one hundred and sixty with tax. One hundred and sixty one fifty with tax. Um, these are the um, minivan roof rack rails and they're painted with this very not very durable finish and so I did scratch up a little bit with the um, worm gears the worm gear clamps and then I realized I needed to use um, ABS, some kind of protector. I started out using rubber, but it was too thick and, and pliant, so I used ABS um, strips that I cut down to like one inch wide. And then I used a heat gun and um, formed them to the, to the rails, to the shape of the rails. And let's see, I um, needed to make slots in the aluminum angles for the worm gear clamps and so I, I um, marked out where everything would fit and then I went ahead and began starter holes to um, to allow me to have enough grip with the, um, with the Dremel um, rotary tool so that I would be able to um, have very accurate or more accurate um, I'm umming a lot. More accurate slots, slot um, s segments. And there's my workbench, my camping chair. So I'm really limited on space, obviously. And so. The majority of the process was just making sure these slot holes lined up correctly with where I wanted to put the worm gear clamps so they wouldn't interfere with where the roof rack rails are attached to the roof. And you could see the ABS sheet laying on the other angles that have already been cut and they've already had their slots. So this is the last one I'm doing of the slots for the angle um, angle framework. And I bought the HQST solar panels because they were 100 watts a piece, but they were exactly the right length to fit in between my roof rack rails in addition to having these angles as the framework supports. They're an eighth inch thick, but you have to add another eighth inch or so to each side, so it's another half inch total for um, to make sure nothing is not going to fit and the effect rails are about 40 they were just wide enough that the Renegy panels that I had purchased earlier would not fit down in between them um, so that I went to the HQST panels which were just slightly shorter and so I can get four HQST panels on top of the minivan in, and fit inside the roof rack rails. So it looks it looks more stealthy, but it's um, it's pretty obvious. I mean, you just have to be above six feet tall, or so, or just lift up on your toes, and you can see what's going on. It's not stealth, but nothing in a minivan is ever stealth if you have solar panels of any kind. It's easy to see what's going on. So 
I just like that you don't have to worry about so much wind resistance when you're going down the freeway. I didn't really even need a fairing. The, the panels only sit just at the height of the roof rack rails. So there's a little extra wind resistance, but it's not like having a, um, some kind of storage system on top. Of course, I would love to have a storage system on top, but then I would have no need to have shorter solar panels. So I went out and visited my daughter in Connecticut. She has a rare bone disease. It's called FOP. It's fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva. And it's got her um, so seized up from bone growth across her joints that she can't move. She can just move a little bit to help somebody help her out of bed but she can't move her feet at all or her legs or her arms she can move one elbow still fairly normally but it's very much compromised and she still has let's say 50 to 80 percent of her wrists and her fingers of both hands but um it was it was difficult to see that She's just got so many issues to do with um, to, um, being bedridden. But this system, I had planned on using it so that it would um, allow me to use a heater at night. But I didn't even try that. And I realize now that that's, that's asking a lot of just two 100 amp lithium batteries to provide any kind of heating, for, even for a minivan. Um, but I still would like to, to try it and see how, what I could get away with because really you only get 1.2 kilowatt hours of use and you're at 50 percent and that's the same problem I've had with the air conditioner it's great when the sun is shining and that's when it's hottest but it's still residual heat inside the room after the sun goes down enough that there's no solar panel um, wattage coming in and then the, you know if you can imagine one kilowatt hour of of use on an air conditioner that draws about 500 watts that's two hours so from 100 percent when the sun starts going down i usually need about four hours to stay comfortable especially if it's humid like this so i have to um unplug at like nine or so and then plug into the house electricity so i don't run my batteries down too low But this is the final process. One, two, three, four. I had four along the sides, and then I had one in the front and one in the back. So they're all, it's all together at six sections. I must have bought more L angle. I must have bought more aluminum angle because I, I have a receipt that shows I only bought four that they were eight feet long a piece and I know that these sections were four feet so um one two three four oh five six seven eight oh I, I had plenty oh that's right these aren't actually four feet because they're um they're the width of two panels which is about 40 inches so I cut off about eight inches off of the forefoot sections. Or no, that's not right. How would that work? I one, two, three, four, five, six. I only need six, so I had a whole a whole angle left over. And I can't imagine where it sits right now. I don't see it in my head. So that's a little perturbing. Hmm. So that's a nice Ryobi system is these um, the drill I got the drill and the circular saw together it was like $90 including one, one battery and a charger and then I purchased the um, this rotary tool the Ryobi ro rotary tool and uh, it came I purchased the, it with the battery so now I have two batteries and two chargers and so I can 
keep going with whatever project I'm working on, even if it's uh, used the battery heavily. These aluminum angles cut really easily with a circular saw. It doesn't even have to be a particular blade. I used a wood blade and they just cut like butter. But it's uh, aluminum shavings all over the place. Pretty much like it is with a rotary tool, but the shavings are larger, so um, it gets pretty messy. Um, yeah, whenever the tool gets caught, it shuts itself off and you have to restart it. It's got a little digital fuse in there. So you have to be gentle and s steady. I obviously don't have any kind of workbench or I would use a workbench with uh, clamps, obviously. And now I'm bending it to match the way the roof um, arches. So this, this is the side rail that goes all along the length of one side of the roof rack rail on one side. And that's how I did both sides. I didn't cut them completely apart, but I did cut enough of a slot on the top part of the angle so that I could bend it downward to match the slant of the roof and the way the uh, roof rack is kind of angled 